promotion of the public hearings of the TRRC that um, people have been anticipating for a while, I, I believe so, because people thought that um, they have stopped the hearing and that was the end of the set of commission to bring out the truth that um, the issues that transpired through uh, the last government. So my uh, question to you guys is, what do you think of it, this? Do you believe that it is necessary for them to come back and resume this public hearings? Because most people believe that there are so many things that are unsaid and other people believe that it's just a waste of time. We've basically talked about everything that transpired. Uh, it is very important and if you are to classify it under the legal reforms, it is one of the best and the most important thing that the government prioritizes and what is most important for the Gambians. The Truth, Reconciliation and Reparation Commission is a government-made commission. Um, it is here to look at the, um, the, the human rights violations that has happened and in doing so, um, they are trying to make an historical, you know, a written historical fact of what has happened and they were trying to make a reconciliation for peoples that perpetrators and victims and most importantly they're trying to make sure that people um, that have committed the most serious crimes are brought before justice and actually telling the government's people that has transpired because there were most of mis misconceptions yeah. and rumors going around when it comes to the 24, 22 years of power in Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it, it, it's quite necessary because uh, TRC is not really about executing the, the perpetrators because uh, mm -hmm. the key part of it include, include that door. But uh, for me, uh, we are also interested in the, in the establishment of the truth because it's a truth commission. We want to establish the truth to have the historical account of the right violation that happened in the Jamaica 22 year ago. And also reconciliation. Definitely. You know, yeah. when truth is established, now we can reconcile. And when reconciliation is made, uh, we can also have reparations. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it is necessary for them to resume. Really? It's yeah. not the end because the TRC had made it clear that they uh, they have sent uh, some part of the report. Just the report doesn't cover the whole activity. The because whole it's activity not is, yeah. yeah. The, the report is just uh, entry sort of. Anything we want that, that they've said, you know, of, of, of the activities that they have done. So and what, what I've seen on social media is the misconception that always surrounds the Truth Reconciliation and uh, Reparations Commission's uh, mandate. So most people just believe that this, uh, the commission is set up to bring the perpetrators to justice and also determine their execution so that they can go and people, uh, people will have the, the justice that they deserve. But what most people don't understand is that's a misconception because what the TRRC is here for is to give recommendation while they are also sensitizing the people on what transpired, they are also giving recommendations to the government so as to support or give their own part to what they are going to decide on later on. So that's a social media uh, issue that is uh, on social media right now. People are saying TRRC shouldn't resume, they haven't prosecuted anyone yet. So I, I, I think that is something that we should clear uh, on this platform. Thank you for that brilliant introduction uh -huh. or, or contribution because you have made it very clear that it is one year to make sure that people are educated. Yeah. Um, you know the, the, the status quo of how our security personnel operate and even the civilian how they work within the system. Mm -hmm. All part of the government system was polluted with corruption, mm -hmm. with incompetency, with nepotism, with issues that cannot even move the government forward. And the Truth, Reconciliation and Reparation Commission, which is the TRRC, um, I think it's a time-given privilege that the government got. Um, we're going to have nothing more than the TRRC. Exactly. So many people are eager to see people in justice, but it cannot work like that. To bring people to justice, you must have evidence. Otherwise, exactly. you don't have the Well, more to the TRRC, we will cost us the absolute job. Because society, I mean, we are Gambians. Exactly. We will not want to learn how to maintain, how to wonder. Because you know, you can't expect that we are going to have to be Gambian. Because we are not going to be Gambian. We are going to have to learn how to live. Yeah. So, we can learn how to have important. We are going to go. We are going to have to learn how to be Gambian. We are going to have to learn how to be Gambian. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and, and, and uh, what, what I wanted to tell you is that uh, okay. social media all over the world have effect on this kind of reform. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's the most powerful tool mm -hmm. that we yeah, have. Yeah, exactly. And uh, 
transitional justice process is, is, is never an easy thing yeah. to do by any government in the world. And uh, our case, we have a very special case as Gambia. Our transitional justice process is different from any other country because we've seen two <coughs> commissions in Liberia and other countries. But it's, it's, it's different from the case of Sahel, for example, or the case of Liberia because uh, that, that was a civil war in these countries that prompted this setting up of the two commissions. But our, our case is a uh, post dictatorship. And we have very special cases uh, in, the, in, in the TRC. We have seen people who were, who were perpetrators and they turned victims. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have seen victims turn perpetrators. Mm -hmm. right. So how are we going to give amnesty to those people who were uh, perpetrators then turned victims? So it's yeah. a, it's, it's, it is okay, very, it's a very and complicated uh, it is going one. To be very special thing. Um, the, the, one of the differences that we have with other commission is that most of these commission in the world they do not have repatriation. Exactly. They have the truth yeah. reconciliation commission in Sierra Leone, in even even Argentina. That's what they have there. But repatriation is one thing key about the commission. And I think the commission will do a great work because they have already started a great job. And I think the government appreciates it. That's why so many people call it the, the Gambia Commission. Commission, exactly. They even call it the, 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 the TRC, the Gambian Commission. Because Gambians are seeing themselves. Mm -hmm. And like Gambians you said, how, how their brothers and sisters are capable of doing, doing it. They've yeah. seen how human rights were violated. And still, people will be very quiet and think that things were normal. Mm -hmm. And that's a plus. I think mm -hmm. the government, when it comes to transitional justice, um, they definitely been great. Yeah. But even though um, they should have at least speed in themselves and be more committed, but they are doing great when it comes to trans okay. justice. And yeah, and right, also knowing, uh, yeah, knowing that. Let me just come in mm -hmm. there. Knowing that this is what is trending on social media, and as we all know, social media is the fifth estate of uh, the government. Mm -hmm. So people have also like they depend on social media to get all the information that they need. And if people on social media are misleading people to think that this is what TRRC should do and this is what they should not do, then people are not getting the right information. Yeah. Because Where we come in as the fourth estate of the uh, government, which is journalism, we are here to clear it. So people should, people are there, please, uh, if you want clear information, if social media can't give that to you, then you turn to the fourth estate. And we are going to tell you what the TRRC is about and what it is not about. So I believe that is something I wanted to make clear so that people know where they get their um, information or from and what they consume on. Then let them not forget the sub button and but then the yeah. notification um, yeah most and definitely nice and, thumbs up and, like. and also <laughs> that brings us to the end of what's trending on social uh, media we'll bring you more on the next um episodes that will be coming thank you very much for watching